Rescue teams are still desperately struggling to help survivors and search for the missing. Five days after deadly floods devastated eastern Libya. The death toll in the coastal city of Dana has jumped to 11,300 as Libya's two rival governments try to coordinate aid relief, Azam Khan reports. Suffering on an unimaginable scale continues to afflict Libya as international and local rescue teams desperately search for survivors in Derna. The eastern port city was the hardest hit by Storm Daniel that struck earlier this week, bursting two dams and triggering devastating floods. Over 11,000 people were killed in Derna alone, amid fears that the final tally could surpass 20,000. The logistical problems and lack of proper infrastructure have made it extremely difficult for much-needed international aid to reach the victims. It is a grim reality for a country consumed in civil strife and infighting for years, since the overthrow of long-term leader Muammar Gaddafi in 2011 by a Western-backed coalition. The two rival administrations that have since emerged have put aside their power struggle and are now frantically coordinating relief efforts for the victims of the country's worst natural disaster. Meanwhile, there is talk of establishing an international sea corridor to streamline aid to the northwestern African nation. With tens of thousands of people homeless and over a fifth of the city destroyed, there are rumors to completely evacuate Derna. Asum Khan, HKIBC.